Footstep by footstep. So many footsteps. Crowds of faces. I remember none. None but one. That is you. I fell in love. I've driven this road many times, yet it seems unfamiliar. Before. Do you want to take a look? Just wait a second, just, just let me find something first. It's, it's hard seeing anything good in the city. There. Don't worry, I'm light. I'm not going to bite. Okay. Wow. Really get out there. Obviously, you've never actually been to space. I mean, I'm boring. I've never ever gone to a bar or clubbing or anything before. Why would you want to go out to bars or clubs? It's nothing but people getting off their faces and trying to pick up. This is way more interesting. Yeah, I guess. But I wonder what it's like to go dancing. So liberating. Just let go, become one with the music. Yeah, that's how I feel when I look at the stars. There's so much freedom out there. I don't feel very comfortable around a lot of people. It's okay. Leave it me. You show me more of this and I'll take you out there.
people are so lost and twisted. What makes us human? Funny how the memory works. The mind doesn't really remember the exact sequence of events. Little things can trigger off big memories. How does a mind decide what is important and what is not? God is always there for you, loving you, rocking you like a mother her child. He then opens up his hands, allowing you to fall. Because you've discarded of you. On the way down, you feel as though you've been left alone. To fall forever into a bottomless pit. Falling forever. Fearing the worst imaginable. I need to discover a pair of wings have been magically created. And you fly up. 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 God has given you the ability to explore. To be free. You can fly out of the pit with these new found wings. And what if you do fly out? Perhaps a journey to heaven is just as important as being in heaven itself. I think. I think. I'm in heaven now. Why did I lose her?
thought you'd bring him here, huh? Good choice. ID, mate. Unites us. At least that's a motto I like to live by. <laughs> Only one thing though, bro. You gotta learn how to shuffle. <laughs> hey, well you don't. But mad shuffles are the shit, and I'm the shuffle king, bro. Good rush, eh? Man, this fuckers can't run for shit. It's just like, you use slow shit. Whatever, man. <laughs> SK, I never asked this. Yeah, man. What's SK stand for? Skinny kid. Oh, fuck <laughs> you, dude. It stands for shin kick, bro. <laughs> nah, it stands for shuffle king. Let me show I can shuffle. Yeah? Oh, it's easy, man. Here, let me show you. Right? Just let it all out. Right? Up. Yeah. Easy. That was crazy. He's carrying a gun. Right? He goes on something I don't know about. Give me drugs. Fuck the drugs, man! Do you think we need drugs for anything? Look, we don't have as many fights with the wogs do with those fucking Aussies. So, what's your background, huh? It's an Aussie. You are an Aussie. And you're dating my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's Joe. 
joking, man. We got heaps of Aussie and Wog friends. Fuck, one of our best mates is a pasty white Aussie. And I like white chicks. Listen. We're not racists. We don't give a shit about the color of your skin or the shape of your eyes. It's about respect. Do you know how to fight? Not really. Hit me. Come on, hit me! No, I'm good. Hit my hand. Raise your hands. Come on. There it is. Jab, jab. <laughs> Remember that. Now it's either fight or flight. And both take skills to succeed. Supposed to be one of us, mate. Oh, man, I don't want to pick sides. You gotta pick sides in this world. You can't just walk into a world at your age and expect to survive it. Don't you see how you're changing? This is exactly what Tree wants because I've always hated all that crap. Then why the fuck did you introduce me to him? Why'd you take me to that place for? I wanted to show Tree an example of a good guy, but you're changing, you're becoming exactly like them. They're good people, Christy. I've finally got some friends. Called me. Am I enough? Of course you are. But he's your brother, Christy. He's not. Never mind. You're right. I don't know why I took you to that place. I've been trying to escape it for a long time. It's okay. Look, if you don't want me to go back there, if you don't want me to hang around them, I won't. I'll just. Finally starting to feel like part of the family. It's okay. I don't even know what I want. It's not because you've been hanging around tree that you are one of us now. Oh, you wanna be wrong? Okay. Take one of these. Oh man, no. Swallow.
She disappeared into a crowd, just as she had once appeared out of one. My special spot has been compromised. I brought her here to the only escape that has ever truly worked for me. Searching the engine, pain, hope, despair. People's minds are scattered, seeing, living, breathing, wanting contradictory desires, unachievable for the fact that they are contradictory. What makes us experience what we do? A random series of events? Or do we really have some power in creating our own experiences? And if we do, does it even really make a difference, seeing that the thoughts created in our minds are at least as random as our experiences, if not even more? <laughs>